right here is the total return for Tesla. And, you know, it got me thinking, is there a way that we could make this a positive return? You know, they're down minus 15% since inception. That includes dividends. The price action is even worse. But what if we could supercharge Tesla because they're paying huge dividends and actually get a return that beats the market? Well, also holding Tesla. Now, I know a lot of us hold it for the income, but say, you know, you don't need the income this month. You could reinvest it into different assets, maybe growth assets or maybe even more income assets. But yeah, look at Tesla here down 61%. This is just off price action, by the way. It With the dividends, like that other picture, you'd be down minus 15%. But with the price action, you would be down 61% if you bought it right when it came out. So if you took these dividends instead of, you know, spending it because your principal is going down and down over time, what if you put those dividends into something like TQQQ? This is basically a triple leveraged NASDAQ ETF. They're up 129% over the past year. Let's just take a look at that scenario. What would happen if instead of spending those dividends, you'd reinvest them just for that one year? Let's take a look at the numbers. All right, so here we are in the spreadsheet. You know, when I was making this video, I was just curious because obviously right now I do need the income because I went on margin to buy these. Uh, maybe a stupid idea, maybe, maybe a smart idea, but so far it's working pretty good. So eventually I do want to reinvest these dividends, maybe half of them and I'll spend half, but let, let's just look at what would happen if you bought Tesla since inception and instead of, you know, spending those dividends, you bought TQQQ instead. And keep in mind, NASDAQ had a huge, you know, run as it recovered from the 2022 crash or correction or whatever you want to call it. So they... It was a it was a big year for Nasdaq and TQQQ is going to triple those returns. Nasdaq goes up 10%, QQQ is going to go up 30%. So let's take a look at this here. So obviously we're not going to be buying any TQQQ. That that that's such an annoying ticker to say. But yeah, we're not buying any of them at the start. We're starting off with 250 Tesla shares. Keep in mind Starting price is $40 because they had that reverse split. So we're just going to go through the months. Your TQQQ shares are going to be building up eventually to 167 And they actually do pay a small dividend as well. So that dividend right there is going to be going up as well. For Tesla, as you can see, the dividend, you know, over time, it has been going down. So that is something to watch for if you are buying these for retirement. Uh, if the dividend is going down, you obviously don't want to be seeing that after one year. But anyways, TQQQ started off at 22 and they ended off at 57. Tesla started off at 40 and now they're at 15. So running total here is 13,562 if you reinvested into TQQQ. That would give us a 35.62% return. And uh, if you didn't reinvest, you'd be down 12%. The reason why it's different from that picture is because I took the $40 mark. I think Tesla opened up actually at 41 or something. So that is pretty interesting. You know, even down 12%, you're still outperforming Tesla. Tesla had a brutal, brutal year. But if you're reinvesting to Tesla, you're basically buying, you know, a falling knife because Tesla just kept on falling and falling and falling there. But I did want to check the numbers if the strategy is good, you know, say with a different ETF, say we do that with Navidi. And, you know, it didn't improve the returns that much. But here's the thing. NVIDIA's dividend, I know we all think, you know, NVIDIA or Navidi is one of the best yield banks ETFs. Right now, it might actually be, because look, they're paying like $1,300 in dividends if you bought 10K worth originally. But it started off at 373 you know, a 
couple, you know, for the first like seven dividend payments, they were actually quite low, you know, 50 cents, 67 cents, 93 there, 81, still really good. But now they're paying like 262. So that if you reinvested into TQQQ, you'd be improving your return by about 12% there versus Tesla's, you know, you're improving your return by 47%. So it's also because Tesla was around a lot longer when TQQQ was, you know, in the 20s and is getting massive dividends here compared to NVIDIA. They kind of started off a little bit slower. But yeah, it's definitely an interesting strategy to look at. I'm going to be doing some more videos on this. You know, what What if you invest, you reinvest your dividends into Triple Spy or you invest them into WiMAX or just reinvest them into the ETF itself. That works well when you have something like NVIDIA where their price just keeps going up and up and their dividends are also going up as well. But with Tesla, that probably wouldn't work as well because, you know, the dividends are going down as well as the price. But if you're in like a good solid one, that like Navidi, you know, Phoebe's pretty good too. This could be a good strategy and I can't wait to see what the results of those ones will be. But for me, I kind of think this could be a good strategy to reinvest in a TQQ because it is you know, super risky, but it's your dividend money going into that super risky stuff. I'm not saying dividends are free money, but you know, over time, you're just slowly buying into TQQQ, which it could be interesting. And it and it's been shown to improve returns for the yield max ETFs. If you guys like this video, make sure you like and subscribe for more. I'm going to be doing lots more of these ones because these what you do with your dividend money, right now I'm just paying back debt, but there is a lot you can do with those dividends. You could travel or grow your, your account even more. So yeah, thank you for watching.